station on web server, MySQL server and firewall server using free CentOS and server game architecture. My name is Azim Brambi Amidi and my group map is Muhammad Buat Rakuan and Ahmad Dajjah Azim and Muhammad Dajjah Azim. Okay, uh, for the host, I use for the architecture data, I use uh, my host is 192.168.56.102. And if we pass to the firewall, so the firewall we use the DMZ zone. Uh, so the DMZ zone will get the IP address same like the uh, host, which is 192.168.56.101. And if we pass to the firewall in the inter internal network IP, 172.168.104. For the web server, I use the IP address 172.168.104. Uh, five and the uh, database I use one seven two one six hundred one hundred six. This is uh, my IP table, so you can see here. This is host PC. We use the M four three as the port, and we use IP address one nine two one six eight fifty six one zero two. So the firewall we configure has two adapter, which is M four three and M four eight. So the first uh, use the same network as the host, uh, and the gateway is the same network, and the M post three, M post eight, we use one seven two one six one hundred four, and the subnet bus is two four eight, uh, and the gateway for the firewall is one nine two one six eight fifty six one hundred one, which is same with M post three. So the web server we use the IP three same with the IP address in internal network which is one seven two one six hundred five and the database we use IP three one seven two one six hundred six and let's go we go start with the configure the firewall first. So for the configuration firewall, what is the function of this firewall is to enforce access control policies by determining which network connection are allowed, allowed uh, and which are denied. So for my setup, I use the uh, username that firewall and the password is firewall is into the root first and, uh, and we check the network. So as you can see here, we use N3 the same with the host and M post 8 the same with the internet network. So after that we configure the adapter for the firewall. So as you can see here this is the setting network for the firewall. First is I use host only adapter and uh, for adapter 2 I use NAT network. So how to configure the NAT network, you can see here, this is the tool, we go to Network Manager and we create the new uh, NAT network, which is, I create this here, Project NOS. Project NOS, uh, it uses IP4, 172.1600.0. Uh, uh, so you can create and remove and the properties like this. Okay, for the firewall. We check first the network we use for the NOS and host on the editor. Okay, for the firewall configuration. <coughs> firewall configuration, um, we need to the, we go to the network setting, wire setting. And I have configured my IPv4 use this one. Uh, for the M3 uh, and the NS 8.8, 8.8444 and I choose apply and we we'll start the network back. and for the N8 I choose to use 172.1604 and the that must be 255.255.255.248 and the gateway I use the same with the M43 which is 192.168.56.101 and the NS is 8.8 8.8 and the second one is 1111 okay 
for the setting for the firewall uh, first we need to see in the firewall config uh, the function of a firewall communication is to define and enforce rules and policies that control the flow of network traffic between different network segments. In this case, we use different network between the two machines and hosts. Okay, we go to the firewall config. So, the, that command can open the GUI for the firewall config. Firstly, change the connection for M43 to the NMZ to secure the connection and make it the M48 to publish. Uh, the MZ is a network segment that is typically, typically located between an internal network and external network. It's a security measure used in firewall communication to provide an additional layer of protection for sensitive system or services. So, if you want to change the zone, we can change it here and you can choose you want the public, you want the internal or you want the MP. So, this one I use the MP. For the M post A, we use the public. Okay, for the configuration. Uh, configure on the NZ zone to only allow the HTTP and SSH, the firewall rules governing the, the NZ can be configured to allow only, only specific type of traffic just as uh, HTTPS and SSH this mean only incoming connection on the spot will be permitted while other port and protocol will be locked so we can choose what services we want First, we need to configure in permanent. So we can see here I have enabled the HTTPS service and I have enabled SSH service for this one. Okay, for the second one is to find the masquerading and enable the masquerade zone. The function of enabling masquerading also known as network address translation or NAT in a firewall communication is to modify the soft or the things IP address of outgoing or incoming network traffic to provide network address transition and hide the internal network structure so you can find the masquerading in here and you just need to enable the masquerade zone for the second one is port forwarding Port forwarding, uh, setting the port forwarding for web server on HTTPS and SSH by configuring port forwarding in the firewall. Incoming traffic on the specific port for HTTPS. Port 443 can be redirected from the firewall to the internal IP address of the web server VM. This enables external users to access the web server by connecting to the public IP address of the firewall using HTTPS. So you can see here, if I ping to the my web server, which is my IP address of web server is 172.16.100.5, it shows the connection between the firewall and web server. So we need to use port forwarding to only allow uh, SSH and HTTPS. So in the firewall configuration, I choose the port range 22 for SSH uh, and forward to another port which is IP address 172.16.105 and port range also 22. Click OK and for the port forwarding for HTTPS, we can use 443 and forward to another port which is the IP web server and the port range is 443 and click OK for the next configuration is we go to the source sources go to the source and add, add host IP address the access visible 
Adding sources in a firewall conversation allow you to specify the allow source IP address or IP range for inbound or outbound network traffic. The function of using 32 subnet masks in the sources or at firewall config is to access allow or deny traffic from a specific IP address. Adding a specific source IP address with slash 32 which is I put it here subnet mask in the firewall configuration grant or restrict access for that particular host so uh, my host IP address is 192.168.56.102 and I put the subnet subnet mask for this is slash 32 I click ok and I have add the sources for the uh, IP address to my host with the DNC zone also use the DNC zone after we configure that all you can click option and reload firewall to save all the settings that so we just click on the in here so after we configuration all of that it will allow only the HTTPS and for the HTTP as you can see here if you uh, if you remove the when you use HTTP only so the website will be loading And it will loading and not to configuring the website. Not have access to the website. This one, this site can be reached. Okay, that's all for the configuration on firewall. Okay, I pass to the my friend to configure the next one. Okay, hi. So my name is Ahmad Nazim bin Majani. So now I will present about database. Uh, the database system. So first, uh, we go to the, we will check the network configuration database. So first, we go to the network, and we check uh, the database uh, and choose the NAT network. So here. We choose attach to NAT network. So the new project is a uh, project NOS. So we click OK. So after that, uh, we go to uh, check the IP address of the database. We go check the uh, database. So here we can see uh, for the IPv4 uh, IPv4 method we choose manual uh, so the address 172.16.100.6 netmarks 255.255.255.248 uh, and the gateway is 172.16.100.1 so we apply and we turn on turn on the uh, IP address So after that, uh, we will check the IP address of the database, uh, database system, and our database, uh, our IP address. So we use command ifconfig. So for our IP address is one seven two point one six point one zero zero point six. So we check. So our IP address is uh, same. We use same IP address one seven two point one six point one zero zero point six. All right. So uh, next one, we will uh, download MariaDB on the database. Uh, so the MariaDB provides robust functionality for managing database. It allows to correct, modify, and delete database tables, index, and other database sub objects. So, 
we use a yum install maria oh sorry we use yum install maria db maria db dash server So, uh, so I'm sorry. So we first thing we use um uh, we perform a uh, to the root. So we put the sudo yum install Maria DB Maria DB server. So the password is a uh, database. Okay, so we already installed the, the test version of the MariaDB. So next, we start and enable the uh, MariaDB. So we use command sudo system ctl start MariaDB. And we enable the MariaDB sudo system ctl enable MariaDB. Okay, after that, we want to see the status of MariaDB sudo system ctl Maria. Oh, sorry. Status to do system test Maria DB. Okay, so the status is active. Uh, so the Maria DB is running. So next is we start and enable the firewall in the database. So for the start, the firewall we use command sudo system ctl start firewall okay for neighbor sudo system ctl enable firewall and then we check the status of the firewall sudo system ctl status firewall right, so the status of the firewall is active and uh, and active so it, which is is running so next we check the current service on the firewall to determine the scanner service allow or enable on the firewall, we use the following command, which is uh, sudo firewall cmd list service services. So uh, we already add the MySQL on the service. So next, we we add the MySQL service by wall. So we use a uh, common this common for your wall for your wall C and D. Yes, permanent sorry by was cmd dash dash permanent dash dash at service my sql 
So the password is database. Okay, so uh, the the MySQL is already success at to the firewall. Next, uh, we verify the MySQL, uh, which is already configured in the firewall. So we use command firewall cmd list less services the password so the MySQL is already on the firewall service and next we open the MariaDB on the terminal and configure the new password and database so uh, we use command my SQL call secure installation so uh, uh, we already install the uh, MariaDB so this is uh, the command to use for installation so we already installed it so uh, I just uh, delete it so next we open the MySQL to add the new database. So we use command MySQL new root dash p. Okay. So password we put the password database. So, um, uh, let's do it. We enter the password again. Database. Okay, so we are already on the MariaDB monitor. So, I think that's all for me. Thank you. So, we already entered the MariaDB. And then... We can verify the database that we already created. So to show it, we insert this command. Then we verify the database on the MySQL by using this command. Sorry, so we need to use the command to select the database. Okay, so the database already selected. Then to verify the database on the MySQL, we enter the describe. U Nikl DB. Simple. So, <coughs> first data on the database, uh, we use this command <sighs> to insert the user.
this we put three then comma then the email then come again then we insert the edge So the data is already inserted. Next, we put this command. So the data already entered which is the ID 13 So that's me with the email and the age So next we check the user that allowed to use the database To check the current users that are allowed to use a specific database in the MariaDB Then we insert this command. So in here we make the user is added to the host is configured correctly to make sure it can access the database. So lastly uh, we make sure the name that we inserted just now has all privilege into the database NOS project with this command and sample so here that we verified that the user or name that we inserted just now has all the privilege into the database of NOS project that's all for me thank you so my name is Muhammad Masa Kupan bin Razal. So today, I would like to present about web server and web application. So the first one, I would like to present about the web server. The primary function of a web server application is to host website and make them accessible to users. It stores the website files and delivers them to the user's web browser when requested. So 
at here, we have uh, our web server that uh, using it is web server and our password is web server. And then the network that I use for our web server is uh, network. Then we try to check the IP address for our web server, which is 172.16.105. So this is our IP address for our web server. And the next the net bus is 255.255.248. And the gateway for our Web server is one seven two one six one hundred and one. So we will move the installation of package that needed for our web server, which is uh, HTTPD or SSL, MariaDB, PHP, and the last one is PHP MySQL. So I have checked here that all packages are. Uh, already installed and let this uh, in the latest version. And next, we move into the uh, services on our web browser, which is the uh, HTTPD. So we try to check uh, the system status. So here, we try to check the system status. And it appears that uh, our so status for HTTPD is active and running. Next, uh, we try to see the HTTP service on the port uh, 443 and then, uh, whether it is sent or not. Then I try to command uh, next step uh, and grab port 443 and it shows that uh, it was uh, listened to port 443. And uh, after that, we move into the firewall services. So I try to issue the command firewall uh, dash cmd dash dash list uh, dash services. And then it appears that uh, there are several services of uh, firewall that appear and running in background. And then, uh, I present about the web application. So this uh, usually the web uh, application store in the HTML file. So we go to the bar. So we try to check the HTML file. So from here. Uh, we can see that this is our HTML file, uh, it's, uh, this is all the uh, wording that we uh, include inside the uh, HTML file. It includes the name, email, and image. Uh, before that, uh, we issue that the user, we ask the user to enter the information. Okay, next we move. Uh, move to the PHP file. So, this is our PHP file.
which you start from the above, which is uh, this line. This HTML form with input fields, uh, name, uh, name, email, and age. Uh, of course, uh, super global variable is used to retrieve the values entered in those fields. So, uh, the next line is create a connection to the database. So, uh, our server name is set to the IP uh, address of 172.16.160, which represent the database server's network address. And the username uh, is set to web server, which is the username used to authenticate with the database server. And password uh, is set to database, which is the corresponding password for the given username, which web server. And the last one is uh, database name or DB name uh, is set to NOS underscore project is the name of the specific database we want to connect to. So uh, we move to the next line. Uh, so this line, this line uh, creates a new MySQLI object which represent the connection to the MySQL database, it use the it use the provided server name, username, password, and database name values to establish the connection. And uh, we move to this line. This code block checks if the connection of the MySQL base, MySQL database was successful was successful or not. If there is an error in the connection, it terminates the script and outputs an error message. Next, about this line. The SQL variable holds the SQL query string to insert, to insert data into the UniKL database table. The query specifies the columns which is which include name, email, and page, and use the provided form data, which include name, email, age, to insert values into the respective columns. Next, we move to the last line, uh, which is this. This code, this code block execute the SQL query using the query method of the coin object. If the query is executed successfully, it outputs a success message. Otherwise, it outputs, it outputs an error message along with the specific error written by MySQL. I think uh, that's all for web application uh, codes as explanation. That's all from me. Thank you. For the connection and database test, make sure the website is running only on HTTPS. We want the website to only running on HTTPS only, not on the HTTP. Okay, for the first run, this I use this is my IP address on the firewall. As you can see here, my firewall is complete. This is my IP address, 192.168.56.101. So, if you open the, the HTTP one, okay, let me remove this. First, okay, we use HTTP. Okay, HTTP. So the host cannot access the 
uh, web server from this uh, HTTP service. Okay, if we put the IP address, if we put uh, HTTPS, so it can run the web server in the host. Okay, for the test to the database the data that we input to the form and make it, it save to the database server we must make sure it successfully save on the on the database okay as you can see here i have run all of my three uh three centos which is firewall web server and database so if i run the if i run the web server firewall AP address on the firewall so it will run the web server on uh, the web and it will save the data on the database okay first we need to make sure that the data is safe on the database so first we put the name this name I put Asia and the email name Unicell and H I put two to three and we submit the data as you can see here the data save successfully so uh, we need to verify it if either it's safe or not so we need to open the terminal and you can open the MySQL to view root and password is database okay. Data. okay as you can see here I use my Maria for MariaDB I use my database is okay, databases I use my database is not project so we use that NOS project so as you can see here I have entered to the, the NOS project and show tables to see what are the tables here I have created the unique LDB so we go to the uh, to the what data we save really to check if the data if enter or not is the com select from unikl db as you can see here there is data that i enter before asia asia is nikl to put the so the data is successfully saved on the database that's all from me. Thank you.